Hi, I'm Carmen Milagro. I'm a CBD educator and the founder of Divina Botanicals and Skincare. Welcome to my show, From the Ground Up. Transformation starts with the truth about your work-life balance from the ground up and the inside out. On this show, we're on a quest to find out those truths. I have an opportunity to talk to industry leaders, celebrities, friends, and colleagues. What's their truth? Are you ready for the truth? I was able to interview the world's number one wealth and business coach, Mr. J.T. Fox, and I get the opportunity to ask him some of those questions. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome. My name is Carmen Milagro. I am your host for From the Ground Up. I'm a CBD educator as well as the founder of Divina Botanicals and Skincare. Today I have a super special guest that I'm so excited to introduce you to and to be able to chat with him today about some insights on how to maintain that work-life balance. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you my guest. He's known all over the globe as the world's number one wealth and business coach. He's a serial entrepreneur, as well as a real estate investor who not only invests in other companies, but he invests in other people. Welcome to the show, JT. Thank you for having me on. Uh, I'm really excited that you're here because I really want to spend this time really sort of getting right to the point and drilling down on something that's really important. Um, you may or may not know some of the industry leaders out there say that in order to scale a business, to grow, you know, and, and expand, you must have a work-life balance. And they say that the key to this is your health. Do you agree with this, JT? And if you do, why? And if you don't, why not? I mean, it seems to, I also people say, well, I don't work as hard because my health is more important. Uh, I work seven days a week and my health is just fine, knock on wood. Um, so sometimes we carry excuses. I mean, as an entrepreneur, it's not work life balance, it's, it's work life choices. And if you want to win and you want to be the best version of yourself, it does require sacrifices. You can have it all in life, just not at the same time. I always tell people there's five categories of life, right? You have wealth, building business. You have uh, have um, you know friends. You have hobbies, um, and then you have um, you know your your friends and families, right? Which are two separate categories. So pick three and that's life. So I pick wealth, I pick health and fitness. Um, and, you know, I pick a uh, family and a lot of times those are my clients, but so when you have those three, so like I'm staring right now in one of my places and there's a golf course right in front of me and I'm not playing. I haven't played in a lot, like I, I was on. And so that's a sacrifice that <laughs> I wish you know, but again, I had to do this interview and I want to keep my word and there's new deals. And so you have to, people say you have to love what you do, but for us entrepreneurs, we love the game. We love business. And so when people say, you know, work-life balance and, you know, uh, health is important. Well, you can have it all, you know, if you prioritize. And so I don't ever feel the need I get to, to burn out. I just keep pushing, 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 pushing and until success happens. Right. And, and I hear what you're saying, because it's really a personal choice, just like everything else in life, right? We get to choose what our priorities are, and hopefully you're choosing both health and wealth. Um, GT, correct me. I, I suspect, if I'm wrong, correct me, but I suspect that you'll probably agree, you know, that the healthy foundation is key when you're building your home from the ground up or looking to invest in a property. And it seems to me from everything that I've seen and read about you, you're not a sprinter, you're in it for the long haul. So what do you do, you know, for your health and fitness, you know, to, to maintain that foundation, to keep going, to be 
J.T. Fox, the world's number one wealth and business coach. I also own a lot of businesses now, and I think I'm becoming more of a big time entrepreneur and investor than I actually am as a coach. Um, but I sprint during the marathon. I think that's to me. I think having a gluten allergy was probably one of the great things that happened because it does eliminate a lot of bad food. And, you know, I was supposed to work out this morning and then I had this amazing deal come through. We're making $2.8 million on it. And then I didn't work out this morning. And then I'm looking at my rest of my day and all the things I have to do. And I, like I, I probably won't be able to work out because I, I, yeah, towards the end of the night, I'm just so tired. I just don't, it doesn't, yeah, it's like, I know when I can work out where I actually want to work out. But, um, you know, it's, it's about this, this willingness not to quit. And uh, I always know there's always something that's going to happen. There's always, you know, there's always going to be an issue. And there's, and then there's like you, you know, making it all and changing it and pushing it and making it happen. So. Right. No, I, I think I can relate to that very well. I think part of it for me is being flexible, just like the entrepreneurial journey, right? You've got to be able to pivot and flex and, Sometimes I have it on my schedule that I want to work out. I want to go for a run or a walk. Well, walk. Um, and then, like you, I get a phone call, a presentation's due, a client, you know, whatever. But then I'll do that, you know, 10 hours later if I can squeeze it in at 10 o'clock at night. So I think that for me is what I'm hearing you say also is again, you've got to prioritize and you're going to make those choices that are best for what it is that you're trying to accomplish in that moment. Um, through all of your transformations and everything that you've ever done, with all your various you know, high-powered millionaire and billionaire mentors and colleagues, what would you say, JT, is the one thing that they all have in common, maybe that you've talked about or that you've observed them doing, you know, their What's their fundamental healthy lifestyle choice that you've noticed that, that they all have in common or that most of them have in common? Well, first of all, here, I think everyone knows if you don't eat well, it doesn't matter, right? So a lot of health is based on what you put inside your body. And also too, a lot of people sometimes are afraid of trying new or different things. Like, you know, some of the products you have, they should try it because they're amazing, they're wonderful. And I think what happens is they either have a stigma to it or they're afraid of change. And most people don't have the willingness to change. And so I think the argument, when's the last time you tried something for the first time? Which is why I think people should try your products because you have amazing products and they are in line with health. And I know you're health, not yourself. And, and not only in, in aspects of health, but- Moderation. Well, no, but, but you know, the, it, you know, like you look like you're 22 years old, so you're doing something right. Um, well, thank you. <laughs> So, so there's a lot of things to do, but that's why they got to go to people like you who, who have the answers. I, you know, I have the answers when it starts to starting and growing and scaling and making money and you have the answers of health and they're all important because they all kind of fit into the universe of, of a flywheel. And once you have those flywheels, then you're directly going to where you're going. And I think that's, I think that's the fundamental big difference. And that's what I see. That's, that's wonderful because I love what you said about, we have to, you know, of course, be aware of what we're putting into our body. And that's one part of it, because as you know, with my hemp CBD skincare and the massage serum and the muscle serum, there's also this idea that we have to be aware of what we're putting on our skin. Do you have any, you know, tips and no, I'll leave that to you. If you want to have an empire, I'll leave that to you. So, so, so anybody who is listening about skin tips for me, I mean, that's, I, that's why I know I, I'm gone past my, my, uh, my death. So I know what I'm good at, what I'm not good at. And, and <laughs> you want to know, here's my tip. Have them talk to you. That's <laughs> right. Well, you heard it here from JT Fox. If you want more tips on how to take care of your skin and what you're putting on your skin, come talk to me. Uh, JT, what are, what are some of the challenges? You know, we're, we're talking about, we make these choices for ourselves. If you had the ability to look in retrospect, are there some things that you would change to, you know, to help 
maybe become a little bit healthier or would you just leave everything as it is? No, I mean, listen, we can always work out more. We can always do more. Um, but I think life comes a balance, right? You see a lot of times these people that work out and they got these giant muscles, but they're not very wealthy because they spend four hours at the gym and that these extreme diets and not everyone has the time to be four hours at the gym. Not everyone has a time, you know, especially mothers, you know, or wants all, to yeah, exactly that too. So I think it's finally that balance. I think everything's in balance. And if you go 100% of one thing, then you'll get that. But I think life is also trying to find out what's that 80% uh, sweet spot because done is often better than perfect. And I know that we have a limited time here with you. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. JT, what's the one thing that you would like to leave our viewers with, with your recommendation for, for finding that work-life balance, whatever that is for each one, but is there a general um, tip, strategy, you know, uh, advice that you would give people on their journey to becoming wealthy and healthy? Um, I, I would say, you know, make the choice, commit, go all out. Um, it's not easy. If you have 50 good days in a year, you're going to be a millionaire. Most days are not good. You have to overcome adversity and you have to keep pushing and always reverse engineer the process. How much money do I want to make? Work backwards so you can see how many clients, how many deals do I need? What do I need to do? Build your business by the number, not by instinct and gut at first, which is important. But when you're building your business, it's a very scientific process sometimes. Thank you so much, JT. I really appreciate your time. Thank you to everyone. I wish you all a healthy lifestyle journey as you're building your wealth, as you're continuing to be successful. And remember, transformational success starts with taking good care of your spirit, your body, and your business. It's, it's all in, like JT Fox has said here. Thank you so much. Thank you, JT, for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Great interview.